he found that due to the lack of integrated design and inspection, the performance of market available ozone machine has been reduced significantly. You could not put an ozone machine of the market without careful examination of test results. You have to make sure of the detoxifying performance of the ozone machine, the total production capacity of ozone within a unit period, and then use this instrument to measure the ozone concentration in a unit area. This vegetable food detoxifying machine is the first model using these global standards. The ozone machine under test has been gradually adjusted to obtain the most powerful and stable functions after Professor Xu spent one year time. Watch carefully. The ozone condensation in the display is maintained at a steady reading of 0.57 grams per cubic meter as displayed once every 20 seconds. According to a test report on the disintegration of pesticide in water, Conducted the Chemical Engineering Department of Taiwan University of Science and Technology, this vegetable food detoxifying machine, which has passed standard test and module design, is used in the test of five types of pesticide, including chloripyrifos. After 15 minutes, its safety reduction rate has reached 99.9%. Another test is made on seven types of pesticide. After 15 minutes, its safety reduction rate has also reached 99.99%. We suggest that when selecting an ozone machine, you choose carefully with caution. We recommend that being inspected by scholars and experts as well as have some experimental process to be done to check for efficiency. Some experts have suggested the use of large amount of tap water or salt water to rinse off the vegetable or fruit to remove the pesticide. This can be a major blind spot. Rinsing of vegetable fruits with water may be effective for water-soluble pesticide. Furthermore, rinsing with water for 15 minutes consumes quite a large amount of water. Since lipoid-based pesticide is not soluble in water, rinsing with water will result to nothing. Using tap water to rinse vegetables and fruits will bring another unexpected result. Let's see another test of the problem of chlorine contained in water. At the same time, we are washing the vegetable, the chlorine content in water will be absorbed by the vegetable and then enter our mouth, then our body. When the chlorine tester is poured into the water, the color of tap water soon appears to be yellow. Let's pour one small cup and set it aside in comparison purposes. Then, we chop the cabbage into shreds and put them into the tap water. Stir with chopsticks and we make another cup. My goodness, the color of these two cups are quite different. How come? The color is absorbed by the cabbage. So, there is little chlorine remaining in this cup of water. The ozone machine can also separate chlorine from water. If there were no chlorine in the water, we will not worry of cleaning our vegetables with it. Unfortunately, there is. And when we do wash the fruits and vegetables, they are absorbing the chlorine. There are two ways to solve this problem with our machine. The first is to treat the water within the chlorine. Second is treating the fruits and vegetables directly. I have visited the factory myself. The factory is very rigorous in terms of production management. As for production development, it has developed various kinds of machines and the factory itself is an exporter. Export factories must take extra special care in quality control in fear of mess is being written. Besides rinsing with large amount of tap water, an alternative way is to soak food in salted water to remove the pesticide. Is that true? We have done many tests on ozone and have seen numerous documents to prove this. Salt and pesticide will not react to each other. They don't have any interaction at all. If the condensation of salt is very high, the first factor involved is salt dissolution. Salt soaking and water rinsing has the main effect on the surface of food, but ozone can penetrate and reach under the surface of food. It is more effective. Therefore, if you want to remove pesticide, the most reliable way is to use the ozone machine. I have many cancer patients and I help to regulate their food and beverage intake. From the inquiries, most of our patients have an ozone machine 
which really puzzled me when I found lots of bacteria in the blood samples. I thought for certain they must have diseases with their ozone machines. One month after our regimen with these newly modelled ozone machines, the blood sample shows no sign of bacteria. This ozone machine has been used by several patients in my clinic and we have seen clearly the results that the ozone machines and a powerful effect it has on killing bacteria. A good ozone machine can kill bacteria, remove bad odors, eliminate chlorine from tap water and pump out unidentified substances from meat and even remove up to 99.99% of pesticide from all food. This is pretty safe to say that this ozone machine is the master of detoxification. It's true, Taiwan is referred as an island of pesticide. We are afraid of pesticide and when we eat vegetables and fruit. We are afraid of antibiotics when we eat meat. It is a miserable situation. Fortunately, we have the top technology in Taiwan. We can take good control of our own health. All you have to do is use this detoxifying machine before you cook or eat your food. I'm Fan Cheng. Thank you for watching our program Life 101.